Do you have to be passionate about cybersecurity to work in cybersecurity? This is a recent conversation that I had in my comments section actually and it's something that I actually wanted to make a video about because I feel like there's this conception that you have to be passionate about a specific topic or a specific job or a role to be able to go into that field and that is also something that I personally used to think but I wanted to make this video for those of you who are kind of in those same shoes from me maybe a few years ago where you're just starting out in your career and you, and you don't know exactly where to start but you know that you want to be in a job that you're passionate about. Okay so starting off with my background I graduated with a degree in information science and technology which is a, a pretty general IT degree from Temple University which is a relatively standard state school in Philadelphia. When I was first applying to colleges, I did not know what I wanted to do. My first major was actually nursing and then I quickly dropped that and then decided to go into tech instead. I started off in computer science and then moved into IT as a CS dropout, which I've noticed this pattern specifically is very common in many schools with CS and IC programs. But either way, I don't necessarily regret switching from CS to IT. And by the time I was a senior looking for full-time jobs out of college, I was primarily looking at software engineering roles and data science roles or data analytics roles. Those were like the main two things I was looking for. And to be completely honest, I decided to go into tech because I wanted a high salary after graduating college. And the main reasons why I wanted to go into software engineering slash data science were because they were very high paying jobs in tech specifically and i'm not going to sit here and say that i was super super passionate about data science or or coding in java specifically i feel like sometimes the media just portrays people who are in tech or honestly in any field as people who are really passionate about a specific topic or a specific field and that's not always the case i think that's very much glorified in the media and in movies and tv shows where someone's job is their identity and everything that ties back to the core of that person and personally that was never really it for me um, I was looking for a job as a means to an end because my parents never had salary jobs growing up we were always below the poverty line my main job to go to college was to get a job that paid well and it didn't necessarily tie back to me being passionate about the job but I guess I did have to enjoy it to an extent and that was really the minimum of what I was looking for so that is the brutally honest truth and when I was a senior I was attending the Grace Hopper conference, which is a conference that I talk about a lot on my channel. And this was where I met my first employer after college. And they were attending the conference and there was basically a career fair. And I really connected with one of the people I talked to. And they just happened to be on the cybersecurity side of things. And personally, I had never really given much thought into, into going into cybersecurity. I took a few security courses, kind of. Um, I took a digital forensics course and a network security course, a few operating system courses that were pretty typical to my major, but I had never really considered cybersecurity. And then when I received my offer, at the time, it was the highest offer that I had, as well as the fact that I felt like if I ever wanted to go back into software engineering, then I could study Grindly code, do all those software engineering interview prep things, and be able to go back if I wanted to. But when it came to cybersecurity, I had no idea what even skills to learn. And it was definitely also the job that intrigued me the most. So I decided to go for it. And the key word here is intrigued me the most. It doesn't necessarily have to be that you're 100% passionate and 100% ready to commit 40 years of your life into this specific career. I think it's more so like what piques your interest and just kind of letting your gut kind of guide you towards whatever things that are going to happen to you in your career because there are many decisions that you're going to make that are pivotal to where you're going to end up, what roles that you're going to get, salary, the career trajectory, and and all those decisions are really easy to look back on and understand, you know, the route that you took. But moving forward, it's like that Steve Jobs quote, I guess, that, that I'm not going to butcher here, but I'll put a picture of it on the screen. And and yeah, so basically I just followed what my gut was selling me to. And, and obviously it was a very competitive starting salary. I was making six figures out of college in the New York metro area. And I can link the video below of how I got that job specifically and going into the details of negotiating and, and the interview process and everything like that. So I think just hearing my experience about how I got my job and how I chose which job or which offer to accept was definitely at the time most based on salary. And that's definitely something I want you guys to keep in mind. Sometimes the way that the media glorifies a dream job and being passionate about your work so you don't have to work another day in your life that isn't necessarily always the case there are people i know who work in cybersecurity who have been working in cybersecurity for 10 20 years 
specifically my old mentors who are basically like the top one percent at their jobs they're so good at what they do but they still have off days they still have days where they don't want to do the things that are on their plate they still have days where they're dealing with issues or problems or whatever comes up during a nine to five job there's always going to be something going wrong that they have to deal with that they don't want to and that is completely normal it doesn't mean that they have to be passionate about all the boring things or the tedious things that they don't want to do it's really about picking and choosing between the pros and cons which is a great segue into the next part of the video which is about addressing the pros and cons of the job so what i responded to one of you guys that asked specifically this question about do you have to be passionate about cyber security is the fact that you really have to weigh out your pros and cons of the job for example maybe a job in cybersecurity provides you some flexibility where you're able to work remotely because in general cybersecurity talent is pretty scarce out there and companies want to keep and retain their cybersecurity talent so they may allow you to have more flexibility working remotely or working hybrid compared to some other roles but maybe a con of that is that you have to work on call hours over the weekends and maybe it's every other month or maybe it's every few weeks depending on the size of your team and how you know your on-call schedule works but those are all the pros and cons to weigh out maybe you have a really high starting salary but maybe you're working 80 hours a week things like this are always going to conflict there's always going to be a double-edged sword for every pro and con that you're looking at and i think that's always something key to note for example some of the work that i do in my day-to-day -day job is very tedious um, sometimes very repetitive maybe a little bit boring but on the flip side i have an awesome team i have an awesome manager my coworkers are amazing and i just feel like you know things always end up balancing each other out but there's always gonna be something that tips the scale a little bit more depending on how you're looking at it and your experience and what you're looking for specifically and to me having a good team a good manager just good people to work with in general makes my life a whole lot easier even if i'm doing some tedious things or some of my tasks are repetitive or sometimes i have a boring day and that's just how it is i feel like pros and cons are always things that you want to think about but sometimes of course you don't always see the whole picture of it until you start the job itself honestly that's another reason why a lot of gen z and millennials i think jump around jobs a lot more because they're looking for something specific personally i am you know also one of those people i look for specific things in my jobs that i feel like are a good fit for me and for example for me the people that i work with are more important than the job itself or the projects that i work on specifically but for you maybe you really want to work with a specific technology or a specific cybersecurity skill or tool and you really want to get that experience using that tool so the team might not matter as much or the company might not matter as much if you're able to learn those skills to help you in whatever else that you want to do in your career so especially when you're just starting out you should always compare the pros and cons make a list with Specifically, I actually wrote down a list of staying at my previous job versus going into my new job, which is my current job. And yeah, I just feel like a lot of it is just comparing and contrasting. But another way to help you guys kind of decide what careers are best for you is to cross off the list. Now, this is no longer talking about the pros and cons list that we were just discussing, but specifically for crossing off the list. This is essentially just knowing that if you try something and you don't like it, and you get to cross that thing off the list that helps you just as much as knowing what you do want so knowing the things that you don't want to do the jobs the skills tools that you don't want to use compared to the jobs that you do want to do and the skills and tools that you do want to use are both equally as important and i really think that cybersecurity rotational programs or any entry-level rotational program is going to be really helpful for this specifically because when i was in my first job i was in a rotation program and we had two one-year rotations so after i graduated the program i was in my third team and i had only been working for about two and a half years in the company and that in general i think is just so priceless because because you get to experience three different teams three different management styles honestly i had more because i had some management changes and then an interim manager and then things like that and trust me things like that are always going to happen when you're working but the most important thing is the fact that i learned from that experience and got to experience it in the first place so early in my career for example i learned very quickly that governance and it auditing things were not for me and that is there's nothing wrong with that there's some people who are really good at doing that and gathering evidence doing compliance things governing specific processes and making sure that they're done correctly by all the other teams that need to follow it that job might be perfect for someone out there but it was not perfect for me and learning that so early in my career i think it's just as important as finding out that that i'm really interested in security engineering or network security which by the way i am very much not a pro at but you kind of get what i mean in general you're probably gonna have maybe a handful of 
careers that you're considering and eventually you're gonna kind of dig deeper and decide what specific roles in those sectors that you want to go into but for the most part it's really helpful to see hey i tried i see auditing and i'm probably not going to try it again so crossing it off my list and eventually after you get through your early career and are in kind of like those mid stages of your career or maybe you're a senior then you're going to start understanding what you want to do and what you don't want to do and personally i think this is a lot more helpful than someone who has stayed at a job for 10 years from their entire early career and now they're already in their mid career and maybe they're still on the fence about the role that they're in but maybe they've already pigeonholed themselves in a specific area in cybersecurity or in tech and because they have that subject matter expertise or even the sunk cost fallacy where they already dedicate 10 years of their career into this and they don't want to dedicate even more time going into another sector in tech or cybersecurity because they're already so pro at this area. I really think sometimes you can trap yourself in a bubble if you don't experiment enough in your early career which is why i think again rotation programs are so helpful even for those of you who may be you know starting in a different career and coming into cybersecurity and maybe you take a boot camp or a certificate program or, or even a degree program like a master's program those are great ways to pivot into cybersecurity as well as the fact that a lot of times companies have rotation programs specifically for your experience level where you're coming in from a different career or maybe you just graduated from a boot camp program and by the way, if you guys are interested, I actually recently kicked off my cybersecurity course on how to get your first job in cybersecurity. I will link that in the description down below, but it basically has all my resources on how I got my first job, my interview prep guide, my resume, my cover letter, the actual job application process that I follow, everything in between that you need to get hired into your first job in cybersecurity. And if you do check it out, I would love to hear your feedback. Okay, so now that we've strayed far enough from the topic of do you have to be passionate about cybersecurity to work in cybersecurity? I think by now you probably know my answers to this question and that is no, I don't believe you have to be passionate every single day of your life every cell of your body being passionate about cybersecurity to work in cybersecurity. Personally, I feel like if cybersecurity topics or the things that you're doing in your job pique your interest at least a few days a week, at least a few hours in a day, I feel like that is what's most important. As people, I feel like there's just so many facets to your personality. For example, I work on this YouTube channel. I also work my nine to five. I also have other passion projects and travel and my cats that I'm interested in. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that my cybersecurity job is my whole entire life or my whole entire identity because it's not. And I don't think that anyone's life should be 100% revolved around specifically their job. But of course it's helpful to be curious about the things in your field. For example, there are days when I'm working on more tedious things that maybe I'm not as interested sit in but there are still days where i'm testing certain things and i'm like hmm, what does this do or hmm, what does that do that and those little strings or threads that you pull at are going to be what lead you down the rest of your career just following your curiosity and and understanding the things that make you tick kind of like the things that you're interested in the things that you're not interested in is going to be even more important than dedicating your whole life searching for that one dream job that you're passionate about because i don't necessarily think that there's one job that people are passionate about every single day of their life every waking hour but maybe there is and i'm just not lucky enough to have that experience but even making this youtube channel which i adore to death there's still days when i don't want to edit there's still days when i don't know what video topic to make and i feel like those are always going to be questions that come up in your subconscious in your psyche but as long as the job is interesting to you to some capacity and also aligns with some of your core values for example in cybersecurity it is pretty easy to make an argument that it is a job that has impact and meaning because obviously you're protecting people's data you're maybe dealing with hackers or breaches or or incidents on a regular basis dealing with actual tickets that come in to your security inbox and all these things have real world impact on someone or multiple people and personally one of my core values is to have an impact and while i do think that many jobs out there do have impact it's just a lot easier to see that in cybersecurity and i think that's one of the reasons why the job in general makes it more enjoyable because i'm able to align the goals of my job with the core values of myself all right so i think i've rambled long enough hopefully this video did give you an idea of what it means to be passionate about your job and why Sometimes I can feel like a myth in itself. Just understand the pros and cons of your job and the roles that you actually want to do and going down and checking off through the list of the roles that you want to do and then eventually reaching a conclusion where you're able to work a job and still see past the maybe the boring days or the hard days and still enjoy the regular day-to-day -day of the role. I really think that in general is going to be the key to your dream job and of course along with some work-life balance because I personally think that is very important and it should be one of your career goals to to be able to enjoy hobbies and your personal life and family and friends and everything else that's 
part of life that isn't just your nine to five job. I think that in general is just really important for a well-rounded human existence. All right, so that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions or would like to continue the conversation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.